Hello and welcome. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're going to try something very different. I set myself a challenge and the challenge is that we're going to be taking off, fly in ILS and land all within 10 minutes. Now you could of course just put the aircraft on the runway with everything fired up, fly visual approach, then that would be easy. But you know, we don't do easy here, we do more realistic stuff, although this is <laughs> semi-realistic. So now we will start with a cold and dark cockpit on the runway. We set everything up as it should be, well at least everything that is necessary. We will fly an ILS, we will set up the approach and then uh, just come back and land as fast as we possibly can. We're in Palma de Mallorca today. Takeoff is on runway 2 for right, landing on 2 for left, like in the real world. We'll not be using real world weather because there are lots of thunderstorms at the moment in Mallorca. So we'll just use ISA conditions, which um, hopefully will make it a bit easier. I will start the timer from the moment the aircraft is fired up. So from the moment we have power available to the aircraft, then we set everything up and then let's see how we get along. Okay. Right. Let's get ready then. Panel states. Ready. Active. We'll start the time on the aircraft. Okay, first thing, mass and balance. Let's just put in some passengers, bit of cargo, bit of fuel, not that much. Instant. Whilst this is doing its thing, we'll be taking off with flaps on. This needs to be armed. The weather radar needs to be on. This needs to be on max. We can switch on the lights. Strobe lights on. That's all good. The signs need to be on. We'll be flying at... Let's make it... We have a bit of terrain, but I think at 1500 we might just be safe. Okay, so let's send this to the MCDU. So we are flying from Lepa to Lepa on the flight plan, departure, two for right, arrival, Ilis Zulu, two for left, that's all we need. Then we'll go here. Departure performance. Oops. No. No. Come on. Lipa. Two for right. Sync the load sheet. Sync the weather. Calculate. Send to MCDU. So we should have everything we need. Yes. Altitude is set. Everything is good. Parking brake released. Off we go. Manflex 68. SRS. Runway. It was blue. One hundred knots. V one rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Nav. Let's switch on the autopilot. Heading select, let's turn all the way around. Oops. Fast climb. There we go. 
Oh, the aircraft is overshot the, <laughs> the altitude. That's okay, no problem. So let's go to zero seven zero flap zero. Speed is selected. Let's go to I don't know two seventy. We activate the approach phase on the performance page. One zero one three. One five, no wind. Two hundred and forty. There we are. Come on, do this a bit faster. Let's arm the ILS. Okay, we're flying into a bit higher terrain, so let's move over a bit. The airport is just over there. So all looking good. We all set up for the approach. Let's get a little bit more distance between us and the runway. Okay, speed is managed. One thousand. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Yeah, that's all checked. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Too low. Terrain. And let's move Terrain over. ahead. Oops. Too low. Terrain. I don't know why that has come on now. Up. Speed brakes. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull let's up. Let's go to three four zero. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Flaps one. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Glide so blue, lock blue, cafe dual, autopilot one ahead. and two. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Let's continue the turn. Ah, it's already on lock star. Very Terrain good. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Flaps two. Don't need the speed brakes anymore. Speed is selected. Let's stick to 160 for the moment. Right, speed brakes armed, we'll do auto brake medium. Glide slope star, go around to altitude 3000 is set. Runway is straight ahead. Don't sink. Everything is good. Don't sink. Gear down. Flap Don't 3. Sink. Speed Don't is managed. Sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Flaps full. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Okay, speed is coming back. Don't sink. Don't sink. Can do this. Don't sink. Don't sink. <sighs> Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Right, let's switch off the Don't autopilot. Sink. Don't sink. Cut Don't one. Don't sink. Don't sink. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Don't worry about us. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Land. Don't sink. 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 40. 
30, Don't sink. 20. Retard. Don't Go sink. On. Come on, sit down. Here we go. Spoilers. Reverse green. Manual braking. Reverse off. Parking brake is set. And we stop the time. Okay. Ah, let's stop the time. So that was around 8 minutes 40 seconds, something like that. 8.50. So within the 10 minutes I set myself. So that's good. A bit chaotic, but we did everything we set out to do. We flew an ILS, we took off properly with, our, with everything calculated and we landed nicely in a touchdown zone. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how useful this was. <laughs> it shows you though, even with a study level aircraft, if you really want to, you can jump in and get off the ground very quickly. Uh, I enjoyed it, this was fun, bit of a challenge. Uh, maybe I should try and do this with the A380 at some point, but probably off camera. Okay, uh, that was it. Very quick one, literally. I just wanted to see if we can do this and set myself a challenge. Maybe you can do it at home and see if you can do better. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you will beat me. In any case, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, all the best. Bye-bye.